this lesson, we will learn how to navigate in ALM Octane if you were a legacy ALM QC user. And what should you consider and what are the basics? So first of all, let's see here in ALM QC, you had uh, modules available on the right hand side. And in the middle, you had the working area or let's see, yeah, you have you had always a tree and then the working area. And on the top right side, you had the projects where you could uh, select and switch and you had your username as well as the direction to um, to the customization and the help link as well as the log, log out button. So we have tried to keep things simpler, uh, even more organized. Um, so you have uh, the same uh, capabilities in Octane. So let's go to Octane. In Octane, you can find all the modules here quickly accessible for you. So you have a landing page, which is exactly the home page. And on the uh, once you have uh, decided which module you are, you will have also in the module uh, the capabilities to collapse all the working tools. So you have here always on the le left hand side if the module supported um, tree tool. And on the right hand side, you have some quick filters. And in the middle, you can have a larger area to work with. Um, belongs if you collapse the uh, tools on the right and left hand side. Then on the top, you had also here uh, your user profile where you can switch to additional languages. You can switch even to a darker mode or a lighter mode. So this could look like this, that this is the high contrast mode in case you want to have it. You can switch to the projects directly one click away, as well as you have here the uh, direction to customization uh, and you can use it from here. So let's go back to the home page and back to QC. So basically what you had to do in QC was you were able to only edit the entities in the dedicated modules. Yeah? For instance, if I would like to change a test, I had to go into the test plan. If I need to change a, a test set, I need to go to the test lab module in order to change the test set. Um, and if I would like to work with defect, I have to go to the defects module. This was a fact. Um, for sure, in test lab module, I was able to create a defect uh, during the run session. But all other dependencies, like here, if I would like to view the run, uh, I can click on the run and step. It will automatically bring me to the run module. So it's uh, it was always a redirection to those specified modules in Octane it's a bit different so you can see that you have here the modules but on the modules you have subcategories so like in requirements I can create test cases and I can also create defects directly yeah? this is mainly because we want to make things easier uh, accessible for you as well as here on every module you can see there is something with test yeah, so this is important um, the core of octane is about quality management yeah? so that's why we represent test and defect mostly in all the modules so you can even create defects from here from the quality module and during the execution so there are different possibilities but this is something which um, is easier to use now than compared to QC. So now let's go to the customization to see how it looks like. So in QC, the customization was accessible from the wheel and customize. And then you had here the user properties, project users, groups and permission, and so on. So you, the majority of your customization was in this area. And you have the same in Octane, exactly in the same manner. So you click on the wheel. And now instead of clicking on customize, you could go to spaces. 
and in spaces you can find here the whole customization you have the users the entities and so on as well as you can define fields and etc so you see we have here the same approach um, plus in Octane, you can also switch in the customization to different projects, which in QC was not possible. And in QC, we had um, the the special entity uh, was defect. This was due to the fact that we came from test director and defect management and test management was one of the main factors. So defect was always the one entity which had the most configuration possibilities. In Octane, it's different. In Optin, you can treat all the entities equally. So the majority of the entities you can uh, treat equally. You can create rules on each entity. You can create fields. You can design workflows like this instead of writing uh, the scripts, as well as forms you can just define like that and move the things around instead, instead of writing the script in VB. Uh, in Visual Basic. Yeah. So this is where we applied a lot of ease for the end users and um, this helps you during um, during the whole uh, working time with Octane. So basically all what you were able to do you can do still in Octane but uh, much much easier and the main fact is in Octane you can use any other browser than Internet Explorer, uh, while as in QC you were only using Internet Explorer or the Client Launcher or ALMQC Explorer. So this is now the change. You can go with the browser of your choice, so sub supported are Chrome, you can go with Firefox as well as Safari Edge, uh, so different browsers, but you can also use uh, other browsers if you want. And it works also on tablets and mobile devices. So this is basically the quick introduction and navigation for the ALM QC users. So let's go back. That's it.